Welcome back my bumblebees. So before I begin this video, I first want to say thank you guys so so much for all the support you've given me for the first week giveaway. I also want to state that it ends June 12th, just to clear up any confusion. June 12th is when my first week giveaway ends. Um, right now I'm currently, at the time of the recording of this video, at 308 subscribers. If you guys get me to 500, I'll be adding a tail to the giveaway. Remember that. If you guys can get me to a thousand, I'll be adding a head along with the paws and the tail. So keep up the good work guys. Spread the news and spread the love and keep telling me your reasons for why you want to win. I've read everyone's comments so far and I've, I've got to say, you are making it really hard. Now let's get on to the video. Today's video is going to be a 50 facts about me video because I figured why the heck not so many of you guys have subscribed to my channel and many of you don't know anything about me some might some might not if you guys check out the video I did with Mickey McCoy uh, you can see a little interview I did of him I'll put the annotation somewhere up here uh, it's just a small little interview going in depth about a few things of how I got into furry fandom and so on and so forth. But you should really go check out the video and check out his channel as well. Anyway, back to the video. So I figured I'd let you guys get to know me and tell you some weird things about me or maybe some things you guys just didn't know. I come from a small town in Western North Carolina. Everyone here is extremely Christian and it's like a tight knit family community. I know most of the people in the town, but most of them don't know me. And I actually have a few fans from my town. So, hi guys, if you're watching, hello. So, my biggest fear is being forgotten. I don't want to be forgotten simply because it scares me that no one would remember anything about me. It would mean that my life meant nothing to anyone and it hurts me a little bit. Uh, part of why I do YouTube is because I just don't want to be forgotten. I feel like you guys will remember me forever and that really warms my heart. My eye color is green, although y'all can't really see that or tell. But what inspires me most, hmm, this is going to sound like I'm a hippie, but I'm not. I'm not a hippie. Uh, that not not saying anything bad about hippies out there, but I feel like when I open my eyes to the things around me, nature-wise, and I admired how things looked more, it really, really changed how I perceived the world and how I was able to draw and do things. Because I started to realize that the world is really pretty and should be admired instead of staring at a screen all day. My favorite color is green. If that's not obvious, it probably isn't. <laughs> My favorite drink, sweet tea. Not really sure what my favorite food is. So if I had to pick, I'd probably say, hmm, oh, that's a tough choice. I don't really know. Honestly, I'm going to say Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> My favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate. Um, I used to have a favorite quote, but currently I can't remember it. If I do remember it, I'll film another part of this and insert it here in the spot. So, yeah. I honestly don't really like sports, so I don't have a favorite sport. Sorry, sports people. My favorite time of day is night, because at night I can get a lot more done and I'm a lot more creative at night. And well, there's not many people to bother you at night, so. My favorite outfit is honestly a tank top, which I'm not wearing one currently, but a tank top and shorts. It's just the most comfortable thing for me to draw in. My favorite way to pass the time is drawing. Drawing is probably one of my favorite things I love to do anyway. 
Yes. I am terrified of heights. I'm a decent cook, but I'm not the best cook there is, by no means. Um, <laughs> if my girlfriend was to tell you anything about this, she would tell you that I cook things way too sweet or way too salty, so... Yeah, there's no fine line in between, but there's certain things I can cook great. I mean, like, ramen, per se. That's pretty easy. I can whistle. <laughs> um, I don't currently have a garden. Most of my flowers I've planted are just kind of in the yard everywhere and put in little areas where I thought they might look pretty. I wouldn't really consider it a garden. But I really want to have a garden one day because, honestly, I really like gardening and there's just certain things I can't plant in my yard that I really like. Like Lily of the Valley. It's really poisonous to waterfowl and I have a lot of ducks and stuff so I, I really don't want anything to happen to them. I do have pets. I live on an entire farm so most of our animals I would consider pets. We don't really raise them for food or anything like that. I'd, I'd rather not raise animals for those purposes. Well, we have a lot of stuff. We have dogs, cats, goats, pigs, guineas, chickens, ducks, geese, fish, one rabbit. Um, see, I think that's it. I think. If I've forgotten anything, I'll insert it. <laughs> I do not believe ignorance is bliss because, well, I feel if you're ignorant to something, you can't really understand how you might affect somebody when you say something hurtful or something you might not know about because you decided to stay ignorant to it. And it's not an excuse either when you hurt somebody like that. So I always think it's best to do some research and try and learn about whatever you're talking about before you go spurting off things that could be rude or just in general not very nice to the person you're talking about or the subject matter at hand. I do not believe in love at first sight, however, <laughs> when I saw my baby goose, which I got recently, insert a little clip here, yeah he's a cutie I know, I think I fell in love. <laughs> My idea of special time together would probably be just hanging out, spending time, the sweet stuff, you know, maybe going like to an amusement park or a convention. I love going to conventions with people. It's probably one of the most fun things ever. Uh, if you want to see me having fun at a convention like that, I'll leave an annotation above somewhere um, for my Ichiban Con 2019, this year's Ichi. I'll be going back again next year along with Blue Ridge Fur Fair, which I'll leave an annotation or a link for somewhere, probably down in the description, so check that out. It's, it'll be down there. My most embarrassing moment was probably when I got off the bus one year, I believe it was my sophomore year, and I started to walk down the steps coming from the bus, and I slipped and fell on the last few steps, and I busted my butt pretty hard. And everyone kind of laughed at me and no one even bothered to help me. They all just stared and laughed. It was kind of embarrassing, you know. I, I didn't quite enjoy it all that much. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I do swear. I try not to on this channel as much, but during con videos it tends to happen a little. <laughs> so... Probably my most used swear words would be I am a Scorpio. The best date I've probably ever been on was with my girlfriend when she took me to an amusement park based on the Old West called Tweetsie. She bought me this oh, <laughs> she bought me this pop cap gun. It's fake an orange tip. And she bought me this little shot glass. It looks like a little gun. Super cute. 
The name of my first pet was Teeny, and she was a pretty black calico cat. It is very hard for me to forgive someone who refuses to say they're sorry just because I feel it's very insincere and they don't actually care about what they've done. No, I haven't, but I really, really want to go to the beach, so, you know, that'd be fun. I have dated two people at once, and it's not fun. <laughs> First amusement park I ever went to was Carowinds. Uh, my family used to actually go on trips to Carowinds, and it was pretty fun until, you know, I decided I didn't like heights, and roller coasters kind of scared me a bit. <laughs> The worst grade I've ever gotten on a test was in math, and it was a 53. What's on the walls of my room right now? Well, they're pink and purple flowers. Well, I get my jeans at the Goodwill because, well, <sighs> I'm a broke, broke beach. The first thing I do when I get home is kick off my shoes. I mean, I gotta get comfortable somehow and start. I can't leave home without my sketchbook. I'm definitely a night owl. I usually get up around about 10-ish, 10 a.m.-ish 10 um, on weekends and on weekdays I get up from about 6 to 7 in the morning because I still go to school. The first time I put on makeup was when I did my first cosplay back in freshman year. I think, I want to say 2015, 2016. So I did Terezi as my first cosplay, and if you're lucky, <laughs> I might pop that image up on the screen somewhere. I like reading adventure fantasy books because I find they're some of the most enjoyable books, and personally one of my favorite series is Warriors, the Warrior Cat series by Aaron Hunter. I particularly enjoy those, enjoy those a lot. I really, really, really want to be fluent in German, and I am currently learning some on Duolingo. So if I have any German viewers out there, um, I'm not very good at saying things at the moment, but hello. No, I honestly don't ever want children, and I'm personally not a big fan of children. I like talking to little kids and like helping them do things or maybe even teaching them how to draw. I don't mind doing that, but I'm just not the best with raising children. Paper mache. This, this monstrosity. This is paper mache. It is terrifying. Paper mache. Not great at it. The app I use most is probably Instagram. Um, actually, if you guys would like to see more of what I do, more frequently than when I post on YouTube because I post more frequently on Instagram than anywhere. You can check out my Instagram at Caleb's Bunnies. That is my app, Caleb's Bunnies. <laughs> uh, I post frequent art on there, cosplay, and a few other things along with my first week video promos. So please go check that out, give me a follow, and check out all my content. I post a lot of cool stuff there. My bedroom carpet is actually pink. I mean, you can't really tell that much anymore since through the years it's kind of faded and it looks really grayish, but it's pink. Yes, I actually collect pop cap guns. I currently have about 10 or more. And I have a whole Amazon list of pop cap guns that I really, really, really want. If you guys want, I'll leave a link in the description below for my Amazon wish list of pop cap guns I really, really want. So if you guys are feeling generous and you want to buy something, you can so I can have the I love dancing and I honestly really, really, really want to do some fursuit dancing videos on my channel here in the future. If you guys want to see me do some fursuit dancing videos, maybe suggest the songs in the comments below and tell me what you want to see me dance to or maybe just tell me in general if you want me to do that. Um, 
Also, while you're down there, please give this video a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos at the end screen of this video. When I can't sleep at night, I usually get up and draw and I pretty I get pretty tired around about three in the morning and that's when I usually fall asleep. Some of the nonprofit organizations I would love to help and I really want to help in the future. It's I started my YouTube channel not only to get my art out there and maybe show you guys how to do some tutorials of how I do things and not only just because I didn't want to be forgotten even though that's a little selfish you know um, I wanted to give too I want to do live streams in the future and I really want to give to some charities that really deserve it I want to support animal charities like the World Wildlife Fund and the ASPCA because they do a lot of good for both domestic animals and wild animals and I genuinely feel like it is a worthy cause to support. I'm hoping in the future to do some fundraisers for the tiger because the tiger is becoming more and more endangered every year as we speak. To my knowledge right now there are less wild tigers in the world than there are in Texas. There's tons of private owners of tigers in Texas and that's not a good thing and I just want to help the wild tiger population. The same goes for snow leopards and <laughs> this is a little silly but bees. I love bees. If that wasn't obvious. <laughs> well anyway guys, thank you for watching. This has been my 50 facts about me video. Again as I said, please leave a like while you're down there. Check out the links I left in the description below and drop a comment. Tell me what you thought and what you'd like to see me do in the future. I have a bunch of videos planned, but I need your guys' opinions. Also, on the side note, if you want to help and vote in polls that I do to determine what my next video is going to be, please become a patron. My patron screen will probably be next, and I will thank all my beautiful and wonderful patrons for all that they do and the support that they give me in the channel. Bye! Special thanks to my patrons, Dusty Songs, who's my channel sponsor, and Andrew Terrell, my dollar bumblebee tier. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and all that I do. If anyone else would like to become a patron, you can head to patreon.com forward slash klovesbunny or click the link in the description below. Thanks guys.